Recently, two driveway paving workers were seriously injured at a job site in Massachusetts when a truck made contact with electrical wires. Both workers were severely burned and lucky to be alive. Others haven't been so lucky. Electrical hazards are the third leading cause of fatal injuries among construction workers. One out of every eight construction industry deaths involve electricity. Electrical hazards are classified by OSHA as one of the focus four, which refers to the four leading causes of death in the construction industry. Even if electrocution doesn't cause a fatality, it can lead to other injuries. Electrocution can cause heart damage and can result in arrhythmias, heart attack, cardiac arrest, or other heart issues. It can cause bodily injuries including muscle, nerve, and tissue damage, which could lead to continuing pain, loss of motor function, or even amputation. Thermal burns are the most common non-fatal injury that workers experience. Electrocutions can also lead to secondary incidents and injuries, such as falls after the initial shock. Nearly 60% of electrocutions are caused by direct contact with electricity, and contact with overhead power lines is the most common ways that electricity kills construction laborers. Follow these practices and procedures to prevent this potentially fatal incident from happening on your site. Identify areas under power lines as high risk and restrict access for construction vehicles and equipment. Avoid storing materials under power lines. Maintain a minimum clearance of 20 feet for power lines of 50 kV or less and 35 feet for anything else. Know your distances. Measure the length of any long-handled tools or other materials being used. Do not carry or move extension ladders that are fully or partially extended. Always assume overhead power lines are live until you know for sure they've been de-energized and grounded. Never approach equipment that has contacted overhead power lines. Electrocutions on the job can also occur from many other sources, including electrical cords, tools, and buried lines. Follow these practices to help prevent these incidents. Use properly installed and maintained circuit breakers, fuses, and other ground fault circuit interrupters, or GFCIs. Regularly inspect and maintain tools. Take any damaged tools out of service immediately. Use the proper type of extension cord for the task. Using an undersized cord can cause fire, burn, or shock hazards. Never connect or daisy chain one extension cord to another. Doing so reduces voltage capacity and can lead to overheating. To identify underground lines, call 811 before digging. When working with or around electricity, proper training and safety measures can significantly reduce the risk of electrocution. For more information about electrical safety and electrocution in construction, contact the fund's OSH division. Thank you and stay safe out there.